Sunday, October 13, 1940. France had fallen, and with the autumn light fading, the Battle of Britain still raged above the southern counties. Just a few weeks earlier, the Blitz started raining fire from the skies and long queues of child refugees now formed at the stations. The threat of invasion was real. This was the moment that 14-year-old Princess Elizabeth was asked to speak to the, the nation and its children, and in particular those who were being sent, sent to safety in the countryside far away from home. Broadcast from the drawing room of Windsor Castle as part of the BBC's Children's Hour, this was Princess Elizabeth's first appearance on the radio and her first public statement of any sort. Ten-year-old Margaret Rose was by her side. Thousands of you in this country have had to leave your homes and be separated from your fathers and mothers, said the future queen. My sister Margaret Rose and I feel so much for you, as we know from experience what it means to be away from those you love most of all. To you living in new surroundings, we send a message of true sympathy, and at the same time, we would like to thank the kind people who have welcomed you to their homes in the country. The two princesses had themselves been moved to safety from Buckingham Palace, where they had lived since 1937, and their father's accession to the throne, to Windsor Castle, 20 miles away. The government had urged the Queen Mother to leave for Canada with her daughters, but she refused, saying, The children won't go without me. I won't leave without the King, and the King will never leave. With the disaster of Dunkirk still fresh in the memory, this was the period that Churchill would later describe as our darkest hour. Now he had asked Elizabeth, the future queen, to help lift national morale and, in particular, to address the plight of those children apart from their families. Over the six years of the war, more than two million children were sent to the countryside in a program the military called Operation Pied Piper. Closing the broadcast, Elizabeth introduced her younger sister, saying, My sister is by my side, and we are both going to say good night to you. Come on, Margaret. Margaret added, Good night, children, before Elizabeth said, Good night, and good luck to you all. The speech was considered a huge success, and this broadcast marked the beginning of a regular series of features aimed child evacuees. King George VI had been reluctant to put his daughter on air, but was delighted with the result.